Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. Today we're going to talk about the events that unfolded after the Frank Cali murder. In 2019, Francesco Frankie Cali was the official boss for the Gambino family. A family whose leadership was once decimated by the attention-seeking boss, John Gotti. Frankie Cali, on the other hand, was the total opposite. He shunned attention and lived a very low-key lifestyle. But around 9 p.m. on the night of March 13, 2019, Frankie Cali was shot and died at the Staten Island University Hospital about an hour later. What the public later found out was this was not what many believed, including myself, to be a mob hit. Some people said there's no way this could be a mob hit because the mob doesn't kill people in front of their house and their families. That statement is incorrect. On April 13, 1991, Bobby Barriello, a Gambino member, was shot and killed in front of his house with his family home. And on October 20th, 1993, Jojo Scopo, who was an underboss for the Vicarina faction of the Colombo family, was shot and killed in front of his house while his family was home as well. So back to March of 2019, Frankie Cali was at his home at 25 Hilltop Terrace when he heard a loud noise. He went outside to check what it was. Once outside, he seen a young man had backed the GMC Sierra pickup truck into his Cadillac Escalade. The Escalade's license plate fell off during this accident. A security video shows Frankie Cali shaking hands with the driver of the pickup, Anthony Camello. Frankie Cali then takes his plate and walks to the back of his Escalade. His actions in the video show his character. He's seen it was an accident. He even shakes Camello's hand. He's acting like a gentleman. But at this point, Anthony Camello announces his true intentions. He was there to make a citizen's arrest and law enforcement later finds out that he had handcuffs on him that night. After Camello announces this, the video shows Frank Cali and him having words. And Frank Cali makes a motion with his hand, probably like he's gonna backhand him. As a result, Camello takes out a gun and shoots Frankie Cali several times. We've come to learn that Anthony Camello was and is a mentally disturbed young guy. Nevertheless, he was arrested on March 16, 2019. What's most interesting is, what took place from the time of the shooting until Camello's arrest on March 16th? And what was on the mind of the Gambino family during that time? When a boss is killed like this, you could imagine that the Gambino family was on high alert. They have to wonder, was this a power move internally, or did it come from another crime family? The media even suggested it was a move for power by Gene Gotti, which turned out not to be true. But this is what happened the following day of the murder. The FBI, who was surveilling Andrew Campos, watched him leave his house in Scarsdale, New York at 5.49 p.m. Campos is a Gambino captain and a very big earner for the family. FBI agents followed him as he drove into Manhattan. Naturally, during this time, the FBI was following all the bosses and Gambino captains because they were also trying to figure out who's responsible for taking the boss out. Campos arrives at a pizzeria in the city and parks his car at 6.33 p.m. He's then picked up by an associate and driven to another location in Manhattan. He's meeting with Louis Bo Filippelli, another captain in the family. Campos and Filippelli both get in the car and the associate drives them to Brooklyn. They get out near a church and they meet with Joe Gambino, another captain in the family. Joe is part of the Sicilian faction of the Gambino family, which Frankie Cali also belonged to. What they spoke about is unknown, but most likely Joe was filling them in on everything he knew up to that point about the shooting. The next day, the FBI surveilled Andrew Campos and another member of his crew, Vincent Fiore, drive from Westchester to Staten Island. Once in Staten Island, they met with six members of the Gambino family, one of those being Ernie Grillo, another captain in the family. Again, what they discussed remains unknown, but they definitely would put their heads together on what they did know so far. And they would want to rule out that this was a hit, and if it was a hit, how they should deal with it going forward. After the meeting, Vincent Fiore speaks on a tape call with his ex-wife, 
about the meeting that they just had. He confirms that he met with a half a dozen people in Staten Island. Then he tells her that he viewed the security tape of the incident. So one of these guys obviously brought the security footage to show all of them. After watching this video, what did they learn? They learned that the shooter was alone. He had no backup shooters. There's no crash cars. Not the sign of a mob hit. In another recorded call, Vincent Fiore is heard speaking to another Gambino member, James Siaccia. During the call, he describes Callie's murder as a good thing because it would elevate Campos' power within the family. Not a very smart statement to make. When a boss position or a position in the administration becomes vacant, everyone starts jockeying to try to fill it. So the Gambino family definitely did some investigating, but they eventually learned of Anthony Camello's arrest and that this was not a mob hit. Frankie Cali's position has since been filled by Lorenzo Menino. Lorenzo was a very well-respected guy in the life. Personally, I always liked him and felt he was very fair whenever I had dealings with him. He's old school, he knows the life, but more importantly, he follows the rules of that life. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, you could hit the like button. I appreciate all who do. Okay, ciao. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Thank you. Well, just another example in the mob you never knew about. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you can do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description to this video.